The Lord says, sharing the truth is a very awesome responsibility, and so many of my people are not ready to be intimate with me. How sad that is. Many reject me out of fear. Spread my love to them. Tell them how much I love them. My love will conquer all. Welcome to Truth of the Spirit. Today's episode is taken completely from personal prophecy. We invite you to listen and allow the Lord to write His secrets on your heart. This is Words from the Lord, Prophecy Rooted in Love, Part 2. The Lord says, My mother sorrows at the thought of how many will be left behind because they have chosen the spoils of this world by sacrificing the tenants of the new one. Nirvana is not to be purchased with gold and silver. My kingdom is not for sale, but the cost is dear. The cost is commitment and steadfastness and an affinity, a thirst, for love and peace. Do not think that you have all the answers. All you need is trust. I am your God. I will do what is to be done. My people merely have to accept it. The Lord says, When the people experience the magnitude of my love, When they truly know my glory, the kingdom will come. The kingdom will be within them. Sometimes a taste of this frightens because the heart with impurities feels the pain and sorrow of displeasing me, and they long to be pure. Do not let them despair, for my love will purify them as they allow it but it will take time because my spirit is gentle. The human condition is such that there is much cleansing that is needed. There is much work to be done to ready the hearts of my people so that they may open to me fully. My grace is upon them basking as in the sun until there is a change as the skin is changed to prevent sunburn We come in small measures to build, always building on the word and the way, until the buildup is such that the training, the preliminary foundation has strengthened the people to ask for more, not less. Allow those who were overwhelmed to rest and come to me again. I am a gentle God. But I long for my people to come to me, and sometimes I allow the sun burn because of the eagerness of my beloved. Unity is a goal for my people. My love encompasses all. My love shelters all. My love conquers all pain. My love is for you. My love is for all who will come to me. Choose to follow my way. The Lord says there is plenty of time to learn and show your love to others. All it takes is a day. All the world would be conquered in a day if my people willed it to be so. But alas, my people drift away from me. They drift into the sea and are lost. Send out your boats for them. Go to them. Risk your life. By losing your life, you will save it. By giving away, you will store up. By trying, you will accomplish, you will conquer. There is no feat too small or too large in the Lord. My way can be taken by all of mankind. Bring together my people in joy for songs of praise. Dance before the Lord with all your heart and body. This grace will flow to you, through you, to others. 
The Lord says, whatever you do, wherever you go, remember, I am with you. Do not think because your thoughts are elsewhere that I'm apart from you. Do you understand? When you see a need and pray for me to help, I do so. Continue to be aware of the needs of my people and ask for my help. It is in the asking that allows my will to be done. When the weak accept my help, their weakness becomes an example for others to identify with. After they have accepted my help, a strength is given that is me. I give myself as I have through the ages. I give my body and my blood. I have lain down my life for my beloved. Wickedness tries to keep my beloved from accepting my help by telling them that they are too weak and undeserving to be a leader for me. Woe to him who turns my children from me. The fires of hell will consume him for all eternity. In my father's house, there is a special presence of my father with me in our spirit. The holy of holies are to be respected, for there my people join together in worship before me. Play for me on glad tambourines. This song will echo in your heart, because our hearts beat as one in those times. Come before the Lord with praise in your heart and on your lips. Know that the Lord our God is Father of all creation. The Lord says, Seek and ye shall find. Call and you will be answered. Do whatever the Lord commands and you will see God. When there's hardship, offer it lovingly to the Father and a sweetness will envelop it and the tears will all dry away like the wind dries the spring rains on the leaves of the trees. There is always a way to follow the way, even in the darkest corridors. My light points to the footpath to follow. Pray that the spirit of rejection and fear will be overcome in my beloved. They need your help. There is a falseness in their pride. They know not what the church fathers have laid out before them. Pray that they may be open to my wisdom. I will lead them if they ask me. The arrogant judge and decide for themselves rather than listen to the fathers of the ages. Pray, and my will can be done. I love my faithful servants, and this cross is but one they shall bear. Be pleased and rejoice, as my servant Paul did. If you stirred no hearts to action, you would be a failure in the eyes of the world. Truth will overcome. Always allow the Father's will to be spoken. Each needs to hear a different thing, and the Spirit does this. When there is a spiritual deafness, only the the distorted reflections enter, and the mind is closed to the truth. Pray for the people to open their ears, their minds, their hearts. Keep loving them as you pray. Do not condemn or judge. Listen, my child, I love your family as I love my own. I long for them to come to me as one. I long for all mending to take place in their hearts, in their memories. Their pain is my pain. Their sorrow is my sorrow. Yet, when they refuse to forgive, I silently stand by waiting for forgiveness. Keep joy in your hearts. Joy will bring peace and the healing takes place. My children cry out to me in their darkness and pain. 
My voice leads them closer until they are warmed by my light. As soon as they accept my word and my body, they are healed not just of infirmity, but of doubt and despair. Keep the presence of the Lord before you always. Allow the Lord to lead the battle. It is in the power of Jesus, in the Father, and their Holy Spirit that the kingdom will come. That the kingdom will be won. The Lord says, within your heart, there are times you know what you know about God to be truth. That is faith. Full acceptance in the knowledge of God's goodness as truth. Hope is when you accept the joys that God has planned for you without knowing the outcome. It involves trust in that you trust God's will for you and accept it, whatever it may be. You are available to follow the guidance of the Father without knowing the outcome. It does not include a set of beliefs in the kingdom the way faith does, but instead involves turning your life over totally to the work of God through his direction and not your own. In healing, your faith knows that the Lord heals all who ask and opens their hearts fully to him. It is the gift of hope that encourages you to pray for others to open themselves to the Father's love and tenderness. Hope sustains you when those around you are in darkness. Hope allows the body to feed you when those around you are starving. Hope allows you to reach out to others in their needs in order to offer the knowledge of the Father to them. All my gifts work together for the benefit of my people. They overlap and connect. They are distributed widely to my people. But as my people come together as one, my will is done. Do not hesitate, my child, to ask these things of me. My love for you provides the answers you need. Many times, however, I may tell you secrets. Sharing the truth is a very awesome responsibility, and so many of my people are not ready to be intimate with me. How sad that is. Many reject me out of fear. Spread my love to them. Tell them how much I love them. My love will conquer all. My love is forever. My love is everlasting. My love will dwell in the hearts of my people forevermore in my kingdom. The Lord says, sweet one, you come to me in distress for the thought of the fathers who turned away from me and were lost to the temple. Remember, my son restored the temple in three days and keeps the keys safe from those who would destroy it. What the people say and do delays the kingdom and may even prevent themselves from entering the gates, but the temple will not pass away. It will not be destroyed through the faults of man. The sun has built the foundation of the stronghold which protects the city. It is an awesome task to keep the walls of the city safe from invasion. But the sentries are posted, and the evil ones cannot. My goodness is now and forever. It is not always easy to do my will, nor is it always difficult. You will find your way as you follow mine. Keep your eyes on the path. Keep oil in the lamp and the light on the path will be bright and you will not get lost. 
you will not make a wrong turn. My love sustains you and contains you. You are in my heart and in the palm of my hand. Follow me. Follow me. I guide you with me at your side always. You are never alone. My spirit continues to speak my words to you, then helps you to understand their meaning. Never be distressed in my love for the people. The choices are not dilemmas, but are clear. Choose between good and better, and pray for those who choose between bad and worse. List before me your petitions, and I will answer them. Consider all things in your heart. Ask me to enter, and I will. I await only for the invitation. The bridegroom awaits the bride with tender longing. The Lord says, I choose an abundant life for my followers, for my beloved Show this to them. Give them the tools I have given to use and explain how their use opens the field for the seed and the growth and the living water that brings all into unity with the Father. My words will comfort the sick at heart, those who allow despair to nip at their heels. My love, my son, reaches out to them to bring them into his own heart where the sorrows are blended together and their joys emerge to show the power of the kingdom to bring peace. My talents lay hidden within my people. Their fears, including fear of rejection, keeps them from allowing my talents to surface within them. As they open their hearts to my grace, The fear is gradually overcome, and my work can be done by them, through them. What can you do to help the talent surface? Opportunity and encouragement is a key. Prayer plays an important role. The Lord says, my mother opens her arms and heart to the children who fear the growth process. She comforts them in her motherly way. She honors me by helping my people to come to me. Many times we think we're failing because our ministry, our life, does not seem effective. But remember, you are only the tool As long as you are available to do the Father's work, that is what I ask. It is the Master who times the grace that is needed. Man's free will is affected by that grace. No matter how abundant the grace is, if it is rejected, then hope is lost. But as long as there is a glimmer of hope, My grace seeps into the soul of my lost sheep. The crack widens and the grace allowed in increases. The Lord says, my dear child, sweetness abounds in the garden of heaven. The aroma of the Lord touches all in his presence. Each time the vines need to be pruned for non-producing, the master calls together his workers and trains them for the delicate task. This is not a simple thing, and the preparation is ardent and difficult. The pruner's fork is constantly watching for signs of life in the decayed branches. The branches that accept the Lord's treatment can be saved. Offer it to them. Many have a shell built around them as a clam or sea creature that thinks that the shell is protection from all elements that cause harm. 
But in the drought, the sun beats down intolerably, and the heavy shell prevents escape. The Lord says, just as the word says, I expect much from those who are given much. It is just. Every person, every man and woman are designed to fall in love with me and each other. But evil interferes with that divine plan. Selfishness and greed has corrupted my people to the point that they don't even love themselves. If they understood love, they would understand me and my kingdom. My kingdom exists for love. There can be no resentment, jealousy, or fear in my kingdom. There is honor and respect and the truest of care for each other. Teach this to my people. I long for the love I give to be returned to me within their hearts. It is not to be trampled underfoot or ripped apart by wolves and dogs. Try to grow in your love for others. Your love is good, but strive for better. Always turn to my love for inspiration and food, for energy, for sustenance. My love magnifies in your love to provide what you need. My love is grace, of course. It is a desire to be one with you. Unity in my body cannot be complete without love. It is love that beckons you to serve others. It is love that beckons you to teach and witness to others. And it is love that allows my gifts to manifest to my people. You are a child entrenched in love, even though it has not always been an easy journey. You've been listening to Truth of the Spirit. I'm your host, Patty Bruner. All of these words are taken from personal revelation. We encourage you to discern them according to the teachings of the Catholic Church. You can access the blog of this episode at patriarchministries.com slash 221. We invite you to subscribe to our free Truth of the Spirit YouTube channel and then come back for more. With the Holy Spirit, there's always more. Amen. This is the Padua Podcast Network. Padua Podcast Network dot com.